All right, some fun was had this weekend, and I know some of the dads were still in attendance here at the home game at Capital One Arena, but the Caps coming off their mentor trip, the last multi-game road trip of the season. The dads and mentors got to be there for morning skate, take a look in film session. Alan May caught up with a few of them. We'll get to that sound in just a second. But, Alan, I know this is something that the players, I'm sure the dads and mentors circle on the calendar. A lot of fun was had this weekend. You know, the, the, all these guys obviously love the game of hockey, and their kids probably got that love of hockey from their fathers in, in most cases. And a lot of those dads that we talk to, they coach each, against each other in youth hockey. They know how hard it is, and they've seen what their sons have gone through to get here. And their brother, and, 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 and their uh, they had some uh, father-in-laws as well on the trip. But they've seen what they sacrifice, what they go through to get to the big leagues. It, it's not an easy path. If you're OV, you're a superstar. And, <laughs> and you're going to play in the NHL when you get drafted. For most of the other guys, you've got to fight through adversity to get there. You spend time in the minors, uh, time honing your skills. And the fathers are, are so proud of it, and, and the mentors, and, and they just are there every step of the way. They, they live and die with what their sons are going through. It's funny watching the goalie parents when their sons are ma making a, a save or not. And uh, they're all really good, funny guys. They, and just all, they're always very respectful of everything they got. And talk about guys that appreciate the opportunity to do what they're doing with their sons. And now I think of Nick Baxham's dad, right? I mean, he was drafted by the New York Rangers, and now he's watched his son just excel and exceed everything that he was able to accomplish. So, yeah, I mean, you, you just talk about generation after generation, the pride that comes through. And I also love the fact that during this trip, Trevor Van Riemsdyk got to sign that extension with his dad right there, and he talked about being able to share a beer and hugs with him. So just little moments like that mean so much to these guys, and it was something that I know that has been going on in the league for a while, but I think Barry Trotz was the guy who really perfected it and, and made sure that people who travel with this team on a regular basis, like our good friend Mike Vogel, doesn't get left out. His father was able to come along and that. I think it really means a lot to the entire group that it's not just the players, it's the people who are there day in and day out. Yeah, I love that. I also love that Smith and Sandin, the newly acquired Washington Capitals, also had their fathers with them. They got a little double dipping with their former team and also with the Capitals. Al, you were holding it down here at the studio with me. Alan May, you were on the road. We ought to roll back some of the best sights and sounds of all the hard-hitting reporting you did from the weekend. Let's take a listen. From Massapequa, New York, via Brooklyn, to read the starting lineup, all-around good guy. <laughs> Frank Malone. <laughs> <laughs> right, boys. It's the Islanders, all right? Let's do it. On right wing, T.J. Oshie. <laughs> Center, Dylan Strode. Yeah. <laughs> Left wing, my son, son man, Sonny Milano. Oh. Pretty big day for your son today. He's already got two assists in this game, but the big news that he signs a new three-year contract for three million a year. How excited are you for him? Oh, just so thrilled. You know, it, it uh, one of the things that uh, a lot of folks don't see is all of the work that goes on behind the scenes. You know, you see the games and maybe you get a little glimpse of a practice here or there, but you don't realize all of the discipline and hard work that it takes. So, you know, we we couldn't be prouder. One guy got us going tonight. Reading the starting lineup. Oh, <laughs> like you're one of the ringleaders of the fathers. Have you been having a good time on this yeah, You know, it's just, my, it's, it's just my personality. I like to, you know, get out there and just, you know, have fun. For you, about watching your kids play in the National Hockey League, what's been what's been the most gratifying moments? Yeah, I think their first goal has always been, yeah. has always been something that's pretty special. You know, my wife and I have both been on a few of these trips, so I think these yeah. trips really are, are really special. What's this trip been like for you guys? Well, it's been fun. Um, it was nice uh, just meeting everyone. It's awesome how quick the dads bond together. Yeah. Uh, you bond, you a uh, lot of fun. Uh, it's even nice like touring the city, first time in New York. Centering pass of Aku Bell. Let's it go! He scores! Nicholas Obey Kubel upstairs on Shisterkin. They're a good group of guys. The players are, you know, are very welcoming to my son, and I feel I should be the same with uh -huh. the dads and uh, 
you know, we're, I'm really looking forward to being a part of this. Oh, I love hearing that. Looking forward to being a part of this. I know Frank Milano stole the show, but love hearing from all those dads, even Darcy Kemper's dad telling you, Alan, they just love getting to know all of these dads. What a fun experience. Oh, seriously, them. and it goes back to when I played, the coaches didn't even say hello to your parents when they walked by. So it's a completely different time in the National Hockey League. I think every team in the league does this, does a, a, a mentor, a father's mentors or a mother's mentors trip. And it's pretty important and special that they get to go in and see because really when you leave home as a younger player, they have no idea what you're doing on game day. They just think, you know, when you're in high school and you're playing uh, U18, U16 hockey, you just leave and go to the game after you're at home and then you come back. They don't realize the morning skates, the video sessions. And, you know, sometimes the fathers have been allowed to go and watch a video session uh, and, and see what the game plan is for, for that night. And just to get and travel and see how they do it. And it is kind of a pain at times when you think of it. You know, after the other night, uh, one of the planes, there was a, a kind of a storm in New York City. You know, all of a sudden you're waiting at the tarmac. You're yeah. waiting at the airport the for your plane taste. to show up and get re running. So there's a lot of waiting around. It's, no one's complaining, though. It's a very good life. But it's pretty cool how they get to see everything that happens while they're on the road. Alexa, if this is really a hard-hitting report, I got to know, what was the Bud Light total? That's going to be the key <laughs> to see if this was a hard-hitting report or not. Well, there's only one guy that drinks that, and I didn't see him having any on the trip, so... The, uh, there was other things, but it was, uh, there was a lot. I'll yeah. just say, I'll just go with a lot. That's something like that, so I'll give my mother's type of answer. Yeah, hey, I love seeing on the Capitals' Twitter, they posted before each of those games, hey, the dad's out at happy hour. Yeah. They were having a blast in the suite watching their sons. Just so proud of them getting the taste of that NHL lifestyle. Well, it's time now.